Here we are living at the edge of the world's most popular, beloved, protected place, the Bondiwaras Canoe Area, which hosts more wilderness travelers than any other protected area in the world. Where we live here sells itself pretty easily because it is truly an extraordinary uh, sight to behold. Wintergreen has this entire two million acre expanse and all 2,000 of these beautiful lakes largely to ourselves. So it really has a powerful wilderness sensation to it when, when we're out there in that environment. Well, the beauty of dog sighting is it does accommodate people of all ages and backgrounds. You don't need to be an Olympic athlete to do this. You don't even need to be someone that grew up on skis or snowboards or, or snowmobiles. We're pleased to offer folks something that I think has a lot of authenticity to it, a really legitimate adventure experience. Um, and it's fun because it works particularly well for families. Um, we get a lot of family groups here, including mom, dad, with very little kids. You know, we've all watched with alarm as the interest of young people has shifted increasingly to the digitized world, but I, I'm, I'm hopeful that the pendulum maybe is swinging back again because the last couple of years have been increasing interest in our trips by young families who tell us time and again we just want our kids to see something real. I think, I think folks have had enough of kids being completely consumed with their iPhones and glitter and jitter and Twitter and all that craziness out there. And then they, they, they respect the value of a, of, of a real experience and, and we're proud to offer that for them. The dogs are, of course, the center of attention here, and rightly so. Our beloved four-legged friends here are, of course, the key to make wintergreen work. And the fun thing about the dogs is they're so personable, and, and they have such distinct personalities that the folks that come here to wintergreen seem to have as much fun and just having hang time out the kennel with the dogs as they do when they're actually out driving the sleds with the dogs. They're extremely, extraordinarily personable, which, which is really unusual given the fact that they are the oldest breed of domesticated canine dog in the world. They're the uh, closest cousin to the timber wolves. Now, so who would have guessed that what came out of that transition from the, the canine kingdom from wild wolves to domesticated dogs, the first one out of the hopper, the Canadian Inuit dog, which is the breed that all the wintergreen dogs are, is this remarkably a personable animal that is affectionate to a fault and is always soliciting attention from people. Um, and yet they're very much a pack animal, so a bit of wolf is, reflects in them with their sparring amongst each other to establish dominance in the rank. Uh, they're very entertaining and of course then they have this incredible gift and that is this instinct that's locked and loaded there to pull. They just love to pull. There's no, no training required. Plug and play. Put them in a harness when they get of age and off they go and their harness stays taut all through their pulling career. Which goes from, oh, eight months, they're ready to roll and then they continue to pull till they're 11, 12, 13, 14 years old and they just live to pull. Well, another piece of the wintergreen legacy is our wonderful meals here. Now, of course, when you're out in the winter environment all day, a, a substantial meal goes down pretty well. So in addition to all the other things that we do well here, we're very proud of our meals also. And uh, I know that folks on our trips come away always commenting that uh, the meals were, were done elegantly, um, amply, and very tastefully. So we're proud of that too. So what's very gratifying for us is that our guests leave Wintergreen not only having had a great time with their guides and the guests and the beauty of the winter world, but I think more times than not, we're also very pleased to know that they leave with um, enhanced confidence that they've learned how to 
enjoy winter comfortably, um, better equipped with their clothing and the knowledge of how to wear it to make winter recreation a, a lifelong endeavor. It's quite a jarring contrast in, uh, in chaos because when the dog's so keen to go when we're getting teams launched and the sleds are all tied out, what we call the hitching posts, and there's an explosion of barking and anxious dogs ready to roll and you can hardly hear yourself think and then suddenly you loosen the trailing lines to cut the dogs loose from the posts and off they go and then it's suddenly silent except for the crunch of snow in the dog's paws and the jangle of their linkages and chains. Um, and uh, after the amazing cacophony of the sounds in Launch Bay, suddenly all's right with the world when you enter the silence of, of winter out there and just cruise along effortlessly with your dogs in the quiet winter world.